Hey everyone, it's Bobby. I wanted to share with you some notepad holders I've made in the last couple of days. These are all for gifts and there will be a tutorial posted shortly today on this one. They're all made exactly the same way. I just used different papers. Now these were requested by somebody and they picked out the papers they wanted. So I've used digital papers on these three. Um, this one um, just the front has a window with butterflies and it says enjoy the little things. On the spine is pink and the back has a label on the bottom saying who it's to. So when it opens you have a notepad in here. You have your pencil and then you have a tag up here at the top with a pocket and there's some journaling cards in here. Uh, she can use these in the book or uh, somewhere else if she chooses. These papers are so pretty, but that's that reminds me of Tammy, the bicycle. But anyway, um, she can use them for whatever she wishes. Or this would make a good place to put receipts when you're out shopping and you'd have your list with you as well. Uh, this one, this lady prefers purple. Dark purple, she said. So this one says, oh, what a lovely day on the front. has a bird with, I don't know what kind of flowers they are. I'm not good at that. There's her purple. And then on the back it also has a to and from. These are going to be their Christmas gifts. On the inside, hers is the same layout. Her tag says dream. And in the pocket, she has these four cards. You make all things lovely. The earth laughs in flowers. Live life in full bloom. And always let your heart sing. Just the prettiest cards. And these um, notepads, I got, I've had them for a long time. They came from a local drugstore. And um, they're meant for the recipient to color them in. And each page is the same. So I made a pocket uh, here to hold the top of it in and then it slides in a pocket at the bottom so that it doesn't wiggle around when it's closed. Okay, and the third one that I did the tutorial on is this one. She wanted blues. And they're all the same inside. Basically just different colors. They each have the pencil in here and I show you in the tutorial how to put your pencil in here. Okay, and then her cards. She has a tag up here that says, Living the best happily ever after. It says, Do what makes you happy. Enjoy the little things. And family's life's greatest blessings. So they turned out really cute. Each one you could make in two hours, maybe less. Because I made uh, the first two. Well, I'm getting hung on those edges together I actually made all three binders at the same time and then I decided I should be doing a tutorial so I did do a tutorial on this one once the album cover was already built but I would say no more than two hours at the most so that's it I hope you enjoy these I hope you'll give it a try and if you do share a photo and tag me so I can see what you all made all right thanks for watching and if you want to make one the tutorial on the blue one will be up later today. It's uploading as we speak. All right, thanks guys. Have a great day. All right, today we're building the little memory folio that you saw through the on the walkthrough. Uh, what I've done so far, I have put my pieces down with the uh, score tape sheets on the um, craft artisan cardstock, and I did have to join two pieces together, but I put it down the center of the back. So I'm going to take off my score tape and if you're new to building uh, albums I will put a link in the description box to Tamara's tutorial. I do the album wrapping and all the same way she does and she has a really good video already loaded so I'm going to remove the score tape And let me give you the dimensions of these. I think they're four and a half by nine, but I want to double check. 
nine for sure. They're nine long. And four and three eighths. Okay. And then this the spine is one and a quarter. And my intention was to use a large pin in that uh, space. And I'm going to show you how to make the little bracket to hold the hinge or to hold the pin. But um, I didn't have any that would match the papers that my people requested for these folios. So I don't have the heavier pins. So I'm going to use these mechanical pencils, which in, if I'd have planned for that, I would have only made this three quarters. But I thought I had plenty of those ballpoint uh, ones with the, the large barrel. And that's what I cut this to fit upon making glue everywhere. So I'm just adding some glue to these. And they all have score tape around the edge as you saw me take the tape off. I'm going to make sure this edge is not going to hang over. I don't think it is, but I'm going to trim it just a hair to make sure I don't have any overhang there. Oh, I don't have the lid screwed on tight, tight enough. That's what's wrong. Goodness gracious. I'm making a mess. Let me get some baby wipes out here. filled this bottle. I guess I didn't screw the lid on tight. I thought I did. It was just leaking everywhere. That is my fault. Let me clean this lid off real quick. I don't want it to be all gooey down inside. Then it'll dry up. Clean that bottle. The neck of the bottle off. Otherwise, I'll have it all over me and everywhere else. I hope I didn't waste a lot doing that. That was my fault. Right here. See how that hangs over there? I should have trimmed that. Let's see if I can get my scissors in there. I thought I had it. Okay. There. You don't want that because then it keeps your edge from laying down, making a nice corner. Still not leaking. Get another baby wipe out here. I guess I filled it too full. Okay, let's put this. So you'll have a nice corner every time. Doing it this way. Now I'm not going to cover the entire inside, and I'll show you what I mean. Normally, you take one piece and cover this entire thing, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to put a piece to cover the spine. because this is not going to be an album that's going to be getting a lot of wear and tear. Take my score tape off. And there's not going to be a hinge like you would have in an album. Get my little scraps. I used my scraps to cover this piece with. Okay, and I'm just going to center it. Let me pull it towards myself a little bit so I can make sure what I'm doing. These are really quick and easy to do. Uh, I did have some of the prep work done ahead. I'm 
Let's find out where our... There it is. Get this bend in here. And because when you lay down your chipboard, um, I use the quarter inch score tape in between each piece. And then when you get to this portion and you go down your seam, they grab together and it makes a really nice little fold in there. Kind of help it out a little bit. And it'll be stiff to start with. Then you can, once you get it limbered up a little bit, just fold it together and make sure you've got a good match from top to bottom. Like that. And burnish it real good. that's in the cardstock. Okay, we're matching up good there. Now this seam will be covered by designer paper so it's no big deal. Now we need to put our ribbon closure on. And I haven't picked any out yet. Blue. Blues and browns, so I'm going to use white for the ribbon. And I'm just going to put a piece of quarter inch score tape on here. I'm just going to kind of eyeball center. Put a piece of score tape on there. ribbon on there. There we go. That looks pretty good. And let's turn it over and put one on the back side. I don't think I'm quite centered, but it'll be okay. It'll all work out. Okay, there's that. And we'll attach a piece of ribbon to the back. cut. Let me put this pin back in here till I'm ready for I do not have them cut completely to size. I have them cut basically what I want. She had asked for blues and browns. So I'm going to use this one on the front. And it needs to be probably close to four and a half. about four and three-eighths, like I measured before. So I can get my little paper trimmer. And we'll cut this and lay it aside. Four and three-eighths. Now I can save a piece of this for the uh, spine out here on the outside. About an inch and a quarter. Let me double check and make sure. Uh, a little more than an inch and a quarter. There's an inch. 
inch and a quarter, and we'll make it an inch and three eighths. And we'll lay that aside. This is the piece for the back, and it's just got a placket on the bottom so I can label who it's to and from. We'll do four and three eighths again. out of this one. I might, <coughs> might like it better for the outside spine. Is that what I said? An inch and three-eighths? I think. Never hurts to double check. Yes. It's pretty because it's got the flower on it. Now we got one to choose from. Okay, for the inside. this needs to be four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. I'm gonna cut four and three eighths just to be sure I can always trim it down. And I printed this with a cut it wrong. Can you believe I did that? I cut three and three eighths. Uh, well, it won't have that on there. I'll cut out another piece for that. That's my fault. I'm talking and not paying attention. Four and three eighths. Make sure it's been Hit the, you'd want it to hit, okay, that'll be fine. So let's cut out one more piece on the other side. Don't need that. <coughs> Four and three eighths. We'll go there and then we'll need inch and three-eighths for the center. That piece is falling everywhere, but that's okay. Let me measure this and make sure. Inch and a quarter on the inside. So we've got these three pieces cut. And this is going to go here. And this is where I want to put the pen, or the pencil. So what I want to do is make a hole there. a set of dies that are um, graduated squares and I'm going to use the tiniest one here to make my hole and I need it to be down about two and a half inches from the top and there's the purple tape I like to use this purple tape to hold my dies in place because it peels right off without pulling on your paper so about two and a half inches down from the top, be about here, and I need to center it right there. And it looks pretty good. Let me tape that down, and I'll run it through my die machine real quick.
see that purple tape comes right up. Doesn't tear your paper at all. Okay. Put my die back so I don't lose it. we need is a piece of white cardstock. Did I keep any out here? Yeah, got some pieces here. We need a piece that's going to be about 7 8 inch. Maybe just a little more than 3 quarters. See, that's all I took off, just that little bit. And it'll fit through there. Actually, I think the other one was about the same. If it was, one was too much and one was not enough. But that'll be okay once we put our... We need a scrap piece of um, the blue. Since we're not going to be using this, <coughs> we'll cut a piece that is, that was 7 8, so we'll cut this 3 quarters. So we just need a piece to go down the center of this, like so. So let's glue that down. a little bit just in the center and this is going to fit through the hole like that to hold our pencil like that now we want to bring it to the back side and hold it in place and kind of pinch that back. You don't want to make it too tight because then it's hard to get your pencil in and out and we're just going to put a little glue here. See what I'm doing, but I'm just putting glue right there on that little edge and pinch that down. Now I'm going to trim off the excess, even with the sides. these. 
for there and that'll hold the pencil. Now for this side, <coughs> we need a scrap about three inches wide, which this is, and we need it five and a half long. I may use that later. And we're going to score this. <coughs> Score this little piece, make a pocket for the um, pad to sit in so that it doesn't flop around. So we're going to score it on three sides at a half. from the score line out so I don't cut into the score line accidentally. This will be our pocket for the bottom and then we need a bracket for the top. And I've got some more of the blue over there. This will be for down here. And then we've got this piece, which only needs to be four and three eighths. So let me cut that, and that's to hold the top of the tablet. Four and three eighths. Oh, no, it doesn't. actually needs to be five and three eighths because I want to score it. So there. <coughs> but this is blue as well so it won't be a big deal. I just didn't want to use white. Okay. So this is just the scrap left over from the other piece. We're going to score it one half. And a three eighths. Just to give it a little extra room. See, in this little premium piece there isn't going to show. It's going to be folded under. So it's okay to use this scrap. Okay. So we're going to fold on both of these score lines. And it's just going to give it just a little bit of room for that tablet to fit underneath without a puckering. on first before we glue it down. Okay, now on these blue ones I'm going to ink the edges just lightly since I'm using uh, the craft color. I don't want that white edge showing. But on the other two I didn't ink them because I had white on white. Let's attach this 
just need a little glue on the inside of these tabs. And it doesn't need to be mitered because it's going underneath. Okay, and it only needs to be down <coughs> about an inch, inch and a half from the top. Just to hold the top of the tablet. And then this one goes over here. Be sure you attach it to the outermost score line, the 3 8 inch. And it's going to look like you have a bubble, but it won't be when you put it down and put your tablet in it. And that didn't look straight. These are real easy to put together, really quick. I probably spent maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes uh, for what I had done before I started the video. But these are all digital papers that I spent time cutting those and measuring. But the reason being the people with these gifts are going to had already seen these papers and they requested them, so that's why I'm using digital. They knew what they wanted. So this is going to go down here. And I need to burnish it real good. I need to get up under here. Get a good seal. And then this little pocket is going to go down at the bottom to hold the bottom of the notepad. <clears throat> Let's put down this side. And we'll put the center down last. And this is going to have a pocket at the bottom where she can keep receipts. I'm going to add some little journaling cards to it just because they're pretty. And then she can use those elsewhere or keep them in here, whatever she wants to do. Let's get this on here. Center it up as best you can. And then a pocket goes at the bottom of this one, of course. We'll put this center piece down. And I had already inked these edges, so I'm sure I got it in the corners here. So I don't want any loose ends popping up. get close to that opening there, but not over the opening. And then you want to put it even with that one so that you match up in the center, of course. where the pen's going to go with the pencil. Okay. And that one 
things now we can do our pocket. The pocket is just um, the four, actually five and three eighths, so that you've got a half on each side by three and a half. So when we turn it under, we've got a little pocket down here. And I cut out a little phrase that came with the set. It just says, live simply, faith, family, and friends. And I'm going to put that on there. This thing goes together real quick. I think from start to finish you could make one for probably two hours or less. It shouldn't take very long at all. I'm going to center this on here with just a little bit of a tan border. Burnish that down real good. Now we can glue this in place and we can do the outside. So there is this. And we'll put this right along the bottom. Side. Remember when you turn it over, this is the front. Don't mistake it for the back when you turn it over because I've done that before. So this is the back. This is the front. And do we want this on the spine? This on the spine. I think I like the darker one. Okay, so let's ink these. I did not ink these yet. good to you. And I'm sure somebody else will like it too. I don't want much ink on these. I don't want them to look soiled. But I just don't want that white edge showing against the craft. Okay. So we're ready to roll here. Let's get these down. You gotta move kind of quick with this art glitter glue because it sets up really fast. Okay. Get the back piece. 
paste down. Oops. <clears throat> Tried to sneak up under there. This is where our pencil goes. And I did went ahead and cut this out. Remember from the other piece where I cut it wrong. And I'll leave it loose at the bottom so it makes a little tuck spot in case there's something she wants to tuck up under there. Let me get a little pearl to put on there. three cards that I cut out. This one says, Family Life's Greatest Blessing. Tuck that in there. Enjoy the little things. These came with a collection and do what makes you happy. So pretty. And then our little paper pad, and these are just some that I bought um, gosh, a long time ago. They're notepads for you to color yourself. One of the local grocery stores here had them. But I don't know. I've never seen them anywhere else. They just say coloring notepad by Crown Jewels, whatever that is. I guess it's the name of the company. So this will slide down in this little loop and rest in the pocket at the bottom. Without the pocket, then it slides. So there, there it is. That's the whole thing in a nutshell, ready to tie up. It is all done. And it's very flat on the outside. There's no um, pieces sticking up. There it is, completely done. All right, and there are two others that I've made. I'll do the walkthrough and show all three of them at the beginning of the video. I thank you for watching, and I will see you soon in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.